Tony Alvarado makes sure her little ones have regular visits to the doctor. Give me a big ah. Uh, uh. There's Kaylee. She's eight, going on 16. What's your favorite fruit? Um, cookies. Four-year-old Kelsey. Cookies. She's just her sister's little shadow. And five-month-old Cole. He's just real mellow. He's probably the easiest one out of them all so far. Calm now, but his mood's about to change a bit. <laughs> But if tears, ever so often, is what it takes to keep him healthy, mom wouldn't have it any other way. Vaccinations that a doctor um, recommends, I do, period. And starting this school year, there's a required shot for those going into seventh grade. It's called Tdap. It covers tetanus, diphtheria, which is a bacteria, and whooping cough. While doctors say all the vaccines in the shot are important, it's whooping cough concerns that really triggered the requirement. With the contagious nature of it, it's typically adolescents or adults that get the bacteria and then give it to the younger children where it is it, most times a hospitalization and a very serious infection. Rossman says there's been an outbreak of the illness in Texas and California. All right. Plus, while you're at the doctor, she also recommends getting several other vaccines for your seventh grader that aren't required. They should also have another vaccination of varicella, which is chickenpox, and that's very definitely try to prevent them from having shingles in later life. Then also they should get a meningococcal immunization. She also recommends getting the vaccine for HPV. There you go. All vaccines mom plans to give her kiddos in due time. Because in her mind, there's no vaccine to heal the pain of knowing she's failed to protect them. It's a great privilege to be able to be a mother. And I feel like by me, you know, doing the extra steps to keep them healthy, then that's me covering my basis as trying to be a great mom. Marla Carter, 2 News works for you. Look at this crew we have.